In baseball, we put all this thought into mechanics, yet rarely give the mental game the attention it deserves. If you want to improve your own plate discipline, or teach your players how to improve their plate discipline, listen up, I got you. Through my college career, there wasn't that big of a physical difference between players. Some players were stronger than others, sure, but the biggest separator was the mental game. This three-step process I'm about to share with you will mentally help us improve our plate discipline. Okay, so here it goes. Plate discipline is all about our eyes. How do we most effectively use our eyes? Some of us have great vision. I have 20-10 vision, that definitely helps. But what I'm about to share with you does not require that we have perfect eyes. This simple three-step process will help us most effectively use our eyes. Here it goes. Step one, when you're on deck or even in the dugout, find the pitcher's release point and memorize where it's coming from. Is it always coming from the same spot? Is he coming from up here on both his fastball and his slider? Take note of these things. This information will help us with pitch selection when we step up to the plate later, but it's also going to help us in another way, and I'll get to that in a second. So once again, step one, locate the pitcher's release point. Step two, now this is at bat. Now that we're in the box, step two is to relax your eyes. Now many of us don't pay attention to where we look when the pitcher is pitching the ball. Most hitters kind of just generally look in the pitcher's direction and then once he throws it they pick up the baseball. And if this is working for you then great keep it up don't change a thing. But in my experience there's something called peak focus that we can't necessarily maintain for too long. Here's what I mean. When I'm in peak focus, I mean I'm not hearing or seeing anything else. I'm totally locked in on the at bat. That peak focus, I have noticed that I can only achieve for about eight seconds at a time. If I try to maintain this peak focus for like 20, 25 seconds just locked in, then my brain starts to wander a little bit and I kind of lose the sharpness that I had before. So this is why I recommend that we relax our eyes pre-pitch. So while the pitcher's standing on the mound, you know, getting his signs, whatever, relax your eyes. Sometimes I'll find a spot out in the outfield to look at. I'll look at the center fielder. I'll look at the left fielder. Just generally not focus in on the pitcher just yet. Another thing you can try is staring into the pitcher's eyes. Sometimes I'd like to do this just for intimidation factor. Just stare right into the pitcher's eyes and that's where I'd look pre-pitch. But one way or another, whatever you do, don't use up your peak focus. Save that peak focus for when he's about to pitch the ball. So that's step two relax the eyes. Okay, step three is during the pitch and it's locking in our peak focus. Once the pitcher has begun his movement, now it's showtime. Lock in your peak focus, but don't just lock it in anywhere. Remember what we did earlier in step one. We found the pitcher's release point and we memorized where he's going to be releasing the ball. Now that we're in the box, we find that spot where he's going to be releasing the ball and right before he releases it, we lock in our peak focus on that point. In my experience, waiting to the last second and then locking my peak focus on his release point right before he releases the ball helped me pick the ball up way sooner, helped me recognize pitches way easier, and it felt like I had way more time than usual. Every millisecond counts in baseball, and a lot of us just kind of stare in the general direction of the pitcher and don't pick up the baseball until it's coming at us. We have to anticipate at the plate. So this is what it looks like. When we're in the dugout, we find his release point. When we're up at the plate, we relax our eyes, relax our focus, and then bam, when he's about to pitch, we lock in our focus on his supposed release point spot, and then once the ball comes into that release point area, obviously we pick up, pick up the baseball, and then we hit. But locking in our peak focus in his release point before he releases the ball will help us pick up the ball so much sooner, and it's gonna help us feel like we have so much more time. It's gonna improve our pitch selection, it's gonna improve our contact at the plate, and guys, I cannot recommend you doing this enough. Try out this three-step process, see if it works for you. I know a lot of big leaguers use it, a lot of them also don't use it. A lot of them also just stare in the general direction of the pitcher, and that's okay. So find if it works for you, but give it a try, because seriously, it made a world of a difference in my career. I make videos like this all the time. I'm Coach Rack. Let's grow.